and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Sharp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. You're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Sprained ankle. We're going to show you how to wrap ankle sprains correctly. This is an updated version of a video that we did quite a few years ago, nine years ago. Yes, 2012. One of our first videos. Absolutely. So the ankle is uh, one of the most highly injured parts of the body uh, across the population. And so you need to have to... They wrap it and do it properly. Yeah, it, I'm not trying to make a fashion statement here. Uh, Brad's going to show me how to wrap this ankle. By the way, if you're new oh. to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're always giving something away. This week, we're giving away a Bob and Brad. You can also find it on Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. As well as the podcast. We are on that with some outstanding people we're interviewing for all kinds of uh, specialties. Yeah, that's field. right. The ankle uh, sprain, 90%. It's right in there. Ankle sprains are done with inversion. Ooh, i yeah. got to touch this foot. Yeah, usually people... And, uh, hurt the uh, foot by turning it in. Right, so that's this way. So the injured uh, ligaments are right in here. So we need to protect that. And there's a there's a number of little things that you really need to be aware of when you wrap an ankle. And we're going to show you all those. Otherwise, you can have problems or it will not be effective and uh, or both. Can you come forward a little yes. bit, Bob? Yep. So I need to have about this much of the uh, leg exposed. And it's nice to have it set in sitting like this on the edge of a table or something of that nature. Uh, I'm going to recommend four inch ace wrap. You know, you can buy this boy, any uh, pharmacy. I bought this actually at the grocery store. Sure. Along with everything else that they had there. They had this. Compelin would work too. Yep. Uh, this is probably a little cheaper and this will probably be ad adequate, sure. but you could have use Compelin. So it stretches. Uh, this is, 0%. If you stretch it all the way as far as it'll go, that's 100%. We're going to keep about 50%, but there's some little things you need to be aware some of with little that caveats. as well. Um, why do we do this? We want to support the ankle. Right. We want to give some compression to keep the swelling out of it. Uh, and also, it's nice that someone can visually see you've got a problem with your right. ankle, uh, and it's just people are more aware of it. Yeah. Uh, they're not going to ask you to do silly things like, right. you know, uh, go over there quickly. Um, let me see. Shall we start with this, Bob? The starting is very critical, yep. right, Brad? The starting the right way. Yes. You're going to uh, want to pull this way. I'm there getting, you go. You were right. Yeah, I got you, it. You were right the first time. We're going to start here. Yes. I'm, I'm going to go here. you got to get locked in. Now, I really like to make sure that the roll comes off the bottom here as opposed to going the other direction. It's it's a lot, a lot harder. But look where he's starting. He's starting going towards the other foot. Yep. Um, on top. Yep. So I'm going to go here, start there. And this is why he does it. Once he anchors it first. Yep. Now I'm anchored, so it's not going to come off. And every time I come around this side of the foot, I'm going to pull up. A little bit, not real hard, because we don't want to get it too tight that it cuts circulation. Okay, so I'm going to do about that fifth percent pull. I'm going to come around again. And right here is where he pulls over a little bit. Yeah. He's keeping me, in, he wants to keep the foot in neutral, which yep. means a, a complete right angle. Right. And he's going to pull a little bit just to pull it into E version, because right. I heard it going inversion. So we're going to hold it out in E version a little there bit. There you go. Yep. So I'm going to pull there again, not too tight. We don't want to cut the circulation off. Uh, and then I'm going to come around to the figure eight. So I'm going to do that here. Make sure you get the wrinkles out, smoothing it down, come around the ankle, pull that like so and over. Now, generally he's a little bit more uh, of a stretch or tightener, tighter down on the foot. Right. Tighter around here, looser up here. Right. Because the fluid that is in your foot from swelling needs to go up into the body that direction it doesn't go out through the toes so you have to you you want to have it so that it kind of pushes it right out of there yep they're going to squeeze it out so that means when i get to this area i'm not going to pull real tight just a little bit it's not that critical 
uh, you know, as critical there as it is elsewhere. So I'm going to do this, and we're going to come down. You're still figure eighting. Yep, still figure eighting. I'm going to go around the heel. You know, obviously around the heel is not not so critical. Yeah, you're not going to get that. too much swelling in there, and yeah. and uh, you you just want to make sure it stays in place too. Yeah. There we go. And when you start running out of band, it's nice to end on top. Up on the top. And I'm in case you want to slide a, yeah. a slipper on or a sandal on or a shoe on. If you can get the, the wrap that has the Velcro built onto the end, that's works nice because then you can just put it down. Oftentimes uh, that doesn't happen. They give you these little uh, clips like this and you put those on. You can use tape too, uh, some kind of tape that'll hold onto there. The advantage of, uh, or disadvantage of Velcro is you got to have it Roll it up right then. Right, then, yeah. If you roll yeah. it up backwards and, it, and all of a sudden the Velcro's not there on the yeah, other side. The, yeah, yep, yeah. So you, you'll know because when you get done, you'll say, oh, I have to undo it. Uh, so, anyways. Uh, so now my foot feels like it's help, being held up a little right. bit and it stops it from turning in a Does little it, bit. And it should feel good. It, it should feels feel like very good. good support. Yeah, now, you, you're not, you're looking for numbness or tingling. That means it's too tight. 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 Also, if the toes are starting to turn red or right. purple. Too tight, you're gonna to have to take it off, get the circulation. And that going might be again. after a couple of minutes. Right. So and I would not advise sleeping with this. Right. Uh, because overnight uh, you don't know what's going on. Best to let it open up uh and go that direction. And uh, naturally make sure you leave it on for the day. It's nice to wash it uh, <laughs> for the next day, depending on <laughs> on your foot to hygiene and whatnot. So very good. Uh, do that for a few days as the swelling gets down. You can keep it up with the wrapping on there, cold packs on it to help the swelling. Uh, and you're really going to get a big, uh, a good start to uh, improving that ankle pain, swelling, and get back to action. Peace out. That's it. <laughs>